Hi, my name is Phil. Welcome to my tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to make an animated crack on a plane. So first of all in top view I'm going to simply add a plane. And I'm going to scale it up a bit and move it around so I can see it as the floor here from my camera view on the right. Okay. Once I've done that, I'm going to add four loop cuts through the middle of the plane. Two. Uh, the closer together these are, the narrower the crack will be. Right, that seems about right. Then I'm going to make some more loop cuts, this time along the other axis of the plane. So I'm going to press Ctrl R and I'm going to use my I'm going to spin my mouse wheel to increase the number of loop cuts. And I'm going to make five of these. That should do it. Now I'm going to use these vertices and these intersections to make the shape of the crack as such. I can e add another loop cut if I want and if I need another angle. So there we are. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is select um, the two middle edge loops. So I press Alt and right click, and then Shift Alt right click, and now I've got the two middle um, edge loops selected. With these selected I'm going to go into the editing buttons and I'm going to add a new vertex group which I'm going to call crack don't forget to press assign so there we go let's just check that if I press A to deselect all and then press select here it'll select the two middle um, edge loops Okay. Um, next, I'm going to go back into object mode and press 3 to go in side view. And I'm going to add a lattice. And I'm just going to scale it up a bit. From top view, I'm also going to make it a bit longer, a bit wider. And push it down, I can see here, so that it's underneath the plane. I'm just going to make it a little bit longer as well. There we are. Okay, and now uh, I'm just going to subdivide the, subdivide this um, this lattice a bit, like this. And I'm going to go into edit mode. Select these vertices here, and push them down. Okay, now I'm going to select the plane again, add a lattice modifier, and in the object um, field, I'm going to write the name of the lattice, which is by default lattice. Um, now if I move this lattice around you will see the whole plane deforming with it. But if I select the plane again and in V group I type the name of the vertex group that we created earlier. 
I can move the lattice again and this time you can see the crack appear. So in top view, there we go. Uh, but it's a bit jumpy, you can see if I move this forward it goes from um, uh, from angle to angle because I don't have any subdivisions in between these angles so I'm just gonna go into the planes edit mode again and add some loop cuts like this and now you can see that the animation of the crack is much smoother um, of course if you want to set smooth or use um, subsurf you can do that as well but you have to add some more um, some more loop cuts. I'll show you how uh, how that's done. So I'll select the plane again and I'll add subsurf. There we go, so I'll just add, I think um, one on each side isn't actually enough, so I'm going to have to add two of these on each side. But of course, if you're going to use um, subsurf, it's better to do this from the start. And instead of uh, instead of four loop cuts in the beginning, you make eight. Because I was a I was able to do it now because this is a very simple shape uh, that I've given the crack. But if you want to make it more complex, then you it's better to do that from the start. So there we go. This is how the crack appears. Um, if you don't want it to start at the very beginning of the plane, for example, if you have a if you have a cube that maybe falls on the plane and the crack starts from the cube and goes outwards, all you have to do is um, uh, remove some of the um, some of the vertices from the from the uh, vertex group that we created so I, if I select all of these just to make sure I get the ones that I want to remove in there and click remove you can see that the crack will start in the middle of the plane so there that's how you create an animated crack this is just a very simple example but of course you can um, you can make much more complex ones for example you can have more uh, another crack coming off of this one or uh, several ones going in uh, different directions you just have to make sure that the shape of the crack can happen by just moving uh, one group of vertices downwards or in a certain direction at the same time. So there we are. Thank you for watching.